meeting their spoonies are always cool, right? <laughs> I totally get it. I understand what that means. Big spoon if I'm a big... Wait, how can you be a big spoon if I'm a big spoon? Maybe you're just a ladle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a serving spoon. My heir's name is Pepper. That's really cute. I like that. I think when I played Not So Berry... Oh my god, what was it? I think when I played Not So Berry, it was... Big ladle energy. I know, right? Um... I don't remember. God, it was like in 2019 when I played, but I literally don't remember like what those things were called at all. I can't remember. Or like what my Sims names were. God, that was a really long time ago. It was like almost five years ago, probably, I think. Yeah, it was like five years ago. Ah, that's so weird to even think about. Oh, my God. I don't like that at all. Moon and Sky theme names for Werewolf Legacy. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. It's adorable. God, it's like 61 Fahrenheit here today, guys. It is so nice outside at the moment. All right. So we have been playing um, the Jelly Bean Legacy. So this is Ambrosia. And then this is Clement. Um, and I'm going to open up my my rules really quick. Because I need it. Because I need to make sure that we are right on par with things. Sam, thank you so stinking much. Yay. Thank you so much. Can you send me a message, dear? Thank you for the six months and tier three. Oh, my God. I can only stay for a little while. I hope your Tuesday is going well. Welcome on in. Thank you again for that. So the Apple generation, you guys. Um... We have um, reached the top of the education career. So we're like almost there. Um, I'm pretty sure she has like maybe one more day of work because I have to reach level nine of this and then she will be promoted and then she'll be level nine. So or level 10. So she's like there pretty much as far as I'm concerned. Um, complete her super parent aspiration. So some other things that we have to do with her is um, she has to like help Clement with his homework a bunch and then have a child with a character value within range to receive a trait. And then basically, I don't know how to go into full parent mode, but we will totally figure that out as we go um, with three positive character value traits. So we're just working on Clement's like character value traits in the meantime, because she needs that for her, for her parenting aspiration. Max the baking skill. I think she's like level six right now. Um, and we're almost at the point we're about to start. Yeah, she's like level six. We're almost at that point where we are about to start. Um, uh, volunteering as a family, because now Clement is a child. So at least once a week. And so here we go. We'll have like a day where we just volunteer together. So. Um, we always have baked goods in the house. That's something we've been working on. Um, she does donate to charity. I think I'm going to have her do it again really soon. Um, all, all kids and teens have A's in school. Clement is very well on his way. I think he's only like on his second or first. He just had his first day of school. Like, so that will come eventually, like when he's when he's there. I also did an expansion of their... Um, hi, Kama. Welcome on in. I also did do an expansion of his... Uh, what are they called? Um, of their lifespans and stuff. So they are on regular lifespan, but I I did it by like 1.5% rather than like, because I think like as soon as you go to long lifespan, it's like times five. So um, it's a lot more doable in there. And I edited that just to like lengthen it a little bit without being like super obnoxious or anything. So the difference between like normal and like long is super, super huge. So we did that. Um, and we are planning to have a couple more kids. Um, I'm planning on having Rarahu and Ambrosia kind of have like um, science babies together, but they're not at that point in the relationship yet, be relationship yet, because they are in like a very slow burn style romance. So we're kind of taking things a little bit slow. And um, but it's it's very cute. And I love their whole dynamic that they have. They're being very respectful of each other. And it's just great. Hi, Desiree. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Good to see you. So that's a quick like catch up of where we are. Um, she is officially awake this morning, though. But um, I've also decided that Rarahu is going to be an author as well. 
So she is going to start authoring some books. Oh, um, you, this is like so filthy here. I'm gonna have her go downstairs. Oh, apparently she's just there playing some things. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So I guess I have to have Rarahu repair this and then I'm gonna have Ambrosia go upstairs and work on some things. Um, I think the party animal aspiration is broken because I don't get invites to parties on different lots anymore. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. I can't remember like the last time that I played with that specific aspiration, honestly. Okay. Um, I also know that I added a, what's it called? Like a summer break kind of thing. Cause we had barbecue day. <gasps> that's right. We had barbecue day last time and we almost burnt our house down. That was so scary. That was actually so scary because we rolled the dice and we couldn't intervene and no one noticed that there was a fire. But then Kyle Kyleson showed up on our lot and then there was like a sprinkler that appeared, even though I, don't, I didn't add a sprinkler system to this house, I'm pretty sure. But I guess that it works. Like, I'm totally OK with that, I suppose. At the point where they have science babies, it's just science baby tweak mod, right? Because I'm not, we're not doing that in that way. I'm probably just going to use MC Command Center because like I've used the science baby tweak mod and that, that one like aired out for me and like it glitched some things. So I'm not using that one. So I think we're just going to use MC Command Center and emulate it. Hi, Oppo. Good to see you. I know that's true. If you haven't burnt your house down in a barbecue, are you even in the Midwest? Real talk, though. Kyle started the fire and then turned it off so he can seem like the hero, right? That's true. For some reason, he just like showed up and he like walked into my house for some reason. I was like, what are you doing, Kyle? Ashy, welcome back. Okay, why is she going in here to like do that? That's weird. Anyway, um, I'm going to have her go ahead and open this. And what kind of breakfast do we have in here? So she does, we do have some fish tacos and like some of those. There's some heart cookies and like some other dough. So we're going to do like a bunch more baking today. Um, I also feel like today we might go volunteer as a family because um, we have all those baked goods and it only makes sense, right? Um, I'll have her serve some breakfast, but let's do omelets. I think that's really cute. So then... Oh, he's actually awake. All right, let's go use that. And then I think that I'm going to have him go clean up a bunch of these, actually, and probably, like, reset the table um, because I'm trying to work on his responsibility and, like, his manners and stuff a lot, too, which is great. Oh, come on. Marmalade, that's, like, some big orange cat behavior, my guy. I also know that I need to... Enable my selected pet or my selectable pets cheat code again. Here we go. So I can make sure marmalade's good. I think Fiona's just going to drop babies a second. I leave her OB. Probably. <gasps> Greta was stuck on the fence. She's crazy. Wait. <laughs> There's never a dull moment in your house. I swear. That's so funny. Girl, you were just in the middle of like cooking something. And I guess you need to have a snack, I guess. Wait, why am I not like able to see any of their options? Y'all, y'all, can you not a mid food prep snack, right? Literally, I think I'm going to have her clean these up, though. And Clement is over here just cleaning up some of these like plates and crap like that. So I guess it is what it is. Oh, my God. It, it, it is very Midwest behavior. I feel like they are actually probably somewhere in like Minnesota. I think it just makes a lot of sense. Girl, don't scare me like that. Y'all already had like a straight up fire. And that, listen, that was enough for me. That was actually so scary though. <clears throat> and no, the fact that no one noticed it. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing today? And the fact that nobody noticed it though was so scary to me. That was terrible. Cooking level eight. Oh, she's at least like a super good cook now. Have him grab a serving. Can she grab a serving too? Hi, I'm doing really good. Thank you so much, Star. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge, which is a legacy challenge that I made with my, com uh, with my community. So awesome. It's so much fun. We're in the second generation. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think that we are going to go on a, uh, we're going to volunteer together today. Oh my god, I had a fire in my game and I forgot my doors were locked. That's actually so scary. So they couldn't like go outside. 
The Minnesota Salad Mom on TikTok did a video about the rainbow jello salad. It miss, made me missing my nanny. Ambrosia is a Midwest salad lady. Yes. Yes. I, I saw like something. I didn't like see the actual video, but I think I was scrolling and I noticed her holding like the ribbon jello salad or whatever. All right, friends. So Twitch is actually going to play ads in just a second. I'm going to pause for this because um, we pause for ads and we won't move a muscle. So thanks for supporting and I will be right back. Right? Oh, God. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, that's so funny, though. But I totally remember that. Like, um, we never had like the jello mold things here, but ambrosia salad was totally my great aunt's thing. And I think she's she still makes it actually. Hi, Emily. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Nice to meet you. No actual lettuce in it, right? But like, um, the ambrosia salad is so wild. Or like Watergate salad, I think it's called by some people. But uh, my grandma used to make seven layer salad. And I loved that. It was like one of my grandpa's favorite things to eat. It was so good. Uh, unrelated question. When a sim is a writer, are they supposed to get royalties for the rest of their life or in a certain amount of time? It's only they like decrease over time. So basically, like the older books don't earn you as many royalties from what I've noticed. So it does like taper off. It's not like you're going to continue getting like however many dollars a week or some millions a week or something. Seven layer lasagna, right? <gasps> Yay, why are you working on the shell? I love that. Um, that salad must have lettuce or other greens, right? I don't know. Because salad, I think we had determined that like salad is... It's a cold dish of various mixtures of raw or cooked vegetables, usually seasoned with oil, vinegar, or other dressing, and sometimes accompanied by meat, fish, or other ingredients. And then a mixture containing a specified ingredient, ingredient served with a dressing or a vegetable suitable for, suitable for eating raw are the literal definitions of it. So I guess it could come from like a mixture containing an, a specified ingredient served with a dressing. So, like, according to Midwesterners, a dressing is Cool Whip. <laughs> the Midwest, seriously. Right, Emily? We were literally, like, bet. You know? Cool Whip is a dressing now. Listen, tell me I'm wrong. It is, Cool Whip is an oil, technically. It is not real thing. So, like, it is, it is technically an oil. It's not real whipped cream. Cool whip. Cool whip. It's uh, water hydrogenated vegetable oil and corn syrup and like a bunch of other stuff. So it is oil and it is a dressing because you said that it had to be like an oil vinegar sometimes. So you know what? I'm just saying I do love cool whip. I do love it. I'm also violently midwestern um my former co-worker made cannoli salad wait that sounds so good though cannoli salad that's so funny you know when when the, i like that i've made this stretch because it is exactly that it was a stretch that like cool whip is a dressing You prefer cool up to real whipped cream. I can see that. It's definitely like it really has like a very specific flavor. Squirty cream. What are you guys doing? What do you guys call? Hold on. I know the answer to this, at least in some areas. This is for our Brit friends. What do you call this? You're not a Brit, Justin. It's a lollipop lady. Squirty cream, a lollipop lady. Yeah, duh, it looks like a lollipop. Hello, Justin. 
I've seen Midwest. I've seen that Midwestern mom before. What a lollipop lady. I love I love it, though. No, no, no. I think that we should start. Listen. America's already proven to us that we can't be left alone for too long, OK? We've already proven that we are the runaway child who can't do things properly. <laughs> so I think that we should start being more like Britain again <laughs> and just go back. Yeah, Midwest is a whole new language than the West. It really is, though. Language differences, right, right. Oh, honestly, though. It's soda or pop. Um, I've lived in places where it's both. I call it soda, but I lived in an area where they called it pop. But I also feel like I was trying to be like that weird, edgy teenager. And I was like, huh, yeah, I want to be different and call it soda. Because I'm not like these people around here kind of thing, you know? But like... Because that's just the kind of weird, quirky child that I was. Okay, I'm going to have them go. We're going to go volunteer together this morning so we can get it out of the way. Saturdays are for volunteering. Listen, hi, Broke. A drinking fountain? Okay, so fun fact, it's called a bubbler because of the Kohler Company in Wisconsin. There's like a little area where they, they tried to make fetch happen. And it kind of almost happened. So like, a, it's called a bubbler because of Kohler specifically. And it's like this one little area. Um, where is it? Freaking household. Where is it? Pop, but I called it soda now, right? Pop. Why you call it pop? <laughs> oh, here we go. What would we volunteer as together, you guys? Oh my God, a bake sale. We are so, okay, guys, this makes sense actually because she had like a whole, we're just, so she has like a sh ton of a bunch of what are they called uh like baked goods and so we're just gonna kind of like throw them in the garbage after they get home because they like donated them so we're gonna go volunteer at the bake sale that is so their thing water fountain and pop as a canadian oh really yeah it's like it was pop where i grew up but i call it soda just as everything in the u.s we call things by the brand name right i think it is also hi squid welcome on in how you doing today Oh my God, Clement was like eager to go volunteer at the bake sale. Look at them go together, you guys. Uh, your Apple Gen only did bake sales. I think that's totally what we're going to do. <gasps> One of the volunteers approaches Clement with a great idea for the bake sale. Let's cut the bottom of all the muffins, muffins and only sell muffin tops, she exclaims. Her reasoning is that it um is the best tasting part of the muffin and sales will go through the roof. Should Clement go along with this idea? Um... Clement is a child who shouldn't be making these types of decisions. But also, I feel like we're going to roll the dice because I don't know. So even is going to be the top one and then odds are going to be the bottom one. I love this. Hi, Sabrina. Welcome. We're doing so good. So yeah, evens are going to be so yellow is going to be the top one and then odds are going to be the bottom. Oh, my God. There's one towards the even because that's technically a six. That's one towards the top option. Hi, Jess. How are you? Muffin tops dusted with powdered sugar, though, right? So we're going to pick the top option. We're going to cut the tops off of the muffins. Are you kidding me right now? So that's one thing that makes this... Um, this challenge that we wrote together, very interesting, is that you roll the dice when you're really not sure on things. So we're gonna cut the muffin tops off because like, I feel like Clement is like, yeah, just like so gullible and so malleable. The Sim who baked the muffins came by and was enraged that Clement had ruined the muffins. Clement was unsuccessful in, cl in calming the baker's nerves and the baker threw all the muffin tops in the trash. <gasps> he lost some conflict resolution from the unsuccessfully convincing the baker to sell muffin tops. Who's asking for a kid for these business decisions? Oh my God. 
At least his conflict resolution was already okay, right? He's having so much trauma. Muffin tops sound funny to a Brit because it's the slang term for the roll of fat above the trouser line. Yes, they call it that way. They call it that in the United States too. This kid is about as good at, his business, at business as Donald Trump. Listen, I said what I said. Just saying. Um, Dutch Brothers Coffee sells muffin tops. Do they really? That's like a thing? What? Hi, Sunwolf. Thank you so much for the three months. You are amazing. Welcome on in. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Apparently, my sub anniversary. I love that. Just a baby one, but I'm feeling the love. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well today. Hi, Bo. You stinky butt. Thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome on in. How you doing today? We're going to have a Twitch baby really soon. I really, really appreciate that, Bo. How are you? How are you feeling? Cranberry orange. Ooh, I like lemon and cranberry flavors and like orange flavors and stuff. That sounds so good. Sounds amazing. A one inch tall muffin. That's not right, right? It's like, it's just like the tiniest little thing. What do they do with the rest of it? Like the bottom? Instead of baking a muffin in a muffin cup, they bake them flat. So the whole thing is the top of the muffin. Oh, it's like, it's, so it's just like a really shallow muffin, basically, then, is what they do, then. Kick COVID's butt this time around. I'm so glad. Good, good. I'm glad that you're doing good, though. I was thinking about you. I know, I think I'm on the other side of my period today, which is great. It reminds me of the pumpkin cookies. I love they're basically just muffin tops. Ooh, the whole thing is basically the top. Oh, it's kind of like the all edges brownie pan kind of thing, then, isn't it? That is actually so funny. Also. Um, I'm going to see, pretend we, we went to that bake sale. Okay, guys. Um, so we're just going to pretend that those bake sale items were there at the volunteer thingy and that we're good and that we don't have any of that stuff in our house anymore right now. I think that's totally reasonable. <laughs> it's a muffin cookie. Oh, a shallow muffin, just a cupcake. No, I always thought like a muffin is like an ugly cupcake, you know, because it doesn't have like all of the, like all the frosting and stuff on the top or that a cupcake is just a pretty muffin. That's the way that I always interpreted it. It's National Muffin Day. Is it really? Shut up. That's so exciting. I love the national days. Those are so fun. Okay. Um, by the way, I think we're in the middle of, we are in the middle of summer break. So yeah, we're in the middle of summer break because I made, um, we have 14 days for our seasons. And so I made barbecue day this Friday. So I made my own holiday. And then I also made like a summer break holiday. So basically he gets like a four day weekend and it's like his summer break and stuff. And I think that's cute. So we did that. Um, but I want to see, maybe he's going to do like a little bit of homework over the summer, we could say, even though we know it's just like technically whatever. Um, maybe I'll have him write in the journal today because mom is going to be that helicopter parent like Ambrosia is. So I really want her to go ahead and go in here and work on her scholarly paper as Clement is sort of like writing in his journal and stuff like that. And Rarahu does have to go to work today. Um, a cupcake is just a muffin with frosting or a muffin is just a breakfast cupcake without frosting, right? It's International Love Your Pet Day. Oh, wait, that's every day to me, though. I'm excited my husband's work is getting a new hard seltzer flavor for spring. It's blood orange and cherry. That sounds really good. That blueberry one that you saw earlier or that you posted, I think it was yesterday, actually, or whatever. It sounded really good. But that did sound super good, actually. I like a good beer. A, yeah, what is a breakfast cupcake? Is it like... Is it like blueberry or like lemon or like apple or something? Like what's a breakfast cupcake technically? Now I'm curious. This is something I've never heard of before. Blueberry cobbler beer. Oh, that did sound good, didn't it? Um, I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and starting to feel sad. Oh my God, I don't know what I want to do. Hi Goonie, welcome on in. How are you? Blueberry cobbler, cobbler beers. Cobbler beer sounded very bomb. It did. Breakfast cupcake is a muffin. Oh, yeah, because it does have frosting on it. It makes sense, right? It totally does. 
you can't have sweets like that for breakfast. It's cake. <laughs> Muffin mix to make pancakes. Um, I've heard of that before, but I personally haven't given it a try before. I know you can use cake or cookie mix to make cookies. Or no, wait, you can use cake mix to make cookies. I know you just like switch up some ingredients or something. Um, so I think maybe we're going to have him maybe it's okay to feel sad. We're going to validate his feelings. <gasps> Responsibility decreased. Oh my God. So I think she's going to make him work on some of his skills here for a little while today. Um, or journal to work on his conflict resolution or his emotional control is what we're doing. Um, and meanwhile, she's like totally doing her own thing, like just working on her research and debate skill. I think that's good. Cookie mix makes cookies, right? I know it's, I know this just in. Cookie makes, cookie mix makes cookies. I know, isn't it insane? A favorite mod? Um, probably UI cheats. For gameplay, it's probably UI cheats or MC Command Center. Probably ends at MC Command Center. Um, but then for building, it, it probably is better build by or tool. One of the two. But yeah, if you want the list of mods and stuff that I use, I don't mod my game very heavily. Um, but they're all right there if you want them. Probably just <laughs> No, Goni, you're sick. I'm so sorry. That's really unfortunate. Doesn't even have to be your birthday, but I used to have a birthday cake. I uh, answered to nobody. You matured meat puzzle. You are so true. That is so true, though. What generation are we on? We are in the second generation. So this is the second generation of the Jelly Bean Legacy, which is a legacy challenge we wrote as a community. If you guys want to join our Discord, our Discord has um, all of the rules and stuff listed on how to get it and all that and how to um, do it. We don't have it listed anywhere else yet, though. I think I'm going to have him keep working on re uh, like journaling and stuff because I just like that. And then I might have him go like set the table. Because, oh, my God. Um, so we need to have at least three skills within range to be. Um, or three character values within range. So like in the green. So we've got a little bit of work to do yet. I think I'm going to do his manners. Responsibility and empathy, maybe. At the very least, hopefully we'll be able to get all five because we actually have 17 days until he's a teenager. Character values. Um, These are from Parenthood. Parenthood is a really good pack. If you guys don't have it, I highly recommend it. It's actually incredible. And Rarahu is actually at work today. Uh, the bake sale from? Um, Do you guys remember what pack the volunteering is from? Because I actually don't remember what that was. Because we went to the bake sale. It was like a volunteer event that we had. Got rid of all my mods because my events weren't working. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. Wish Buttspot would uh, have got me just now. Would have been great. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Parenthood. Oh, OK. So you guys think Parenthood is where it came from? That honestly makes quite a bit of sense to me, too, I think. All right, I'll let him set the table with the red one. Um, that's actually kind of crazy, though, because he is pretty high up in his skill set. So he can he needs to stargaze. Parenthood. I just got it. Ah, OK. Good thing. Get to work for volunteers. OK, yeah, I have no idea. I've had all of the packs for like such a long time, and some of those packs are just like so old that I don't even remember. Half of the time, what half of those are, you know, because like it all just kind of like meshes together. I also don't think. OK, so you guys remember how I was going to try to do a like rags to riches challenge whenever a new pack came out or like a rags to riches like mini series whenever a new pack came out. Um, I don't think that the new stuff pack would bode well with that, I think maybe. Maybe. Maybe it would. I don't know, because maybe you could make jewelry with Tammy. Uh, get to work is for bake sales. Ah, maybe it's th things interacting. Oh, it might be. Rocks to riches. I was thinking about that, actually. A rocks to riches jewelry maker. I think I might do like a little mini series this week then 
when it comes out. Like with Tammy. So like, because I want to do like a little mini series every single time a new pack comes out. You were the chat rules. Thanks for coming on. Bye. <clears throat> is the trailer? It is. It is. We watched it earlier. It's been out for a few hours. Tammy, the jewelry maker. But the fact that it's like something gems or jewelry related for Tammy is kind of on brand for her, though. Nothing about banter. Wait, what are you talking about? <clears throat> That's so fun, right? <laughs> Isn't it so fun? I think that would be really, really, really adorable. Actually, that'd be so cool. Uh, no, you cannot swear. Um, we do not. But if I can tell you right now that I am, while I am a family friendly content creator, I'm not going to parent you into making wise decisions and trying to find your way to weasel around rules because I just simply don't have time for that. I simply don't have time for people that do that. So that is something that I am going to encourage you to make wise decisions on. It's like, I'm a family-friendly content creator, but I'm not your mother. <laughs> but if you also read the rules, you'd know that it says no cuss words. If you actually read the rules. Hi, Chi, welcome on in. How are you today? Tacky make jewelry. Yes. Oh my God. Actually, I think now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually getting really excited for that, though. <gasps> oh my God. So we're going to do like a rags to riches thing with Tammy then on YouTube. Oh my God. That's going to be so good. Your cat's enjoying sitting on the windowsill. That is so cute. I have my window open here because it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit today. Hi, Chi Chi. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Like, how weird can we make this bracelet? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can make costume jewelry versus fine jewelry it would be awesome. Oh, my God. Wait. And then she would try, like, Tammy would probably try to sell it. Like, kind of like the, what is it, the paparazzi or whatever? Jewelry or something. And we're back from ads. Thank you so much, everyone. Right? I know I'm here for the funny gaudy stuff. Yes, same. I like it. I think that's what we're going to do. Over the flea market, right? Tammy being a jewelry maker. I like it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for next week. Because I'll have early access to the pack um, on the 27th-ish or so. But then I'm going to be doing a build-by review of it. And then I'll be doing like a rags to riches style like thing with Tammy for a few episodes. <gasps> Oh my God. I love it. Thank you for the 13 month alien. Welcome on in. Thank you. Thank you so stinking much. Swarovski looks and feels like plastic jewelry. I feel like Swarovski kind of does feel like plastic too. Your new nail color. That's exciting. Um, hey, baguette boy. As I said earlier, I'm a family friendly content creator, but if you actually read the rules, you'd say you'd know that it said no cuss words, because I don't think you actually read the rules. But I think you were in ads when I said this, but I'm a family friendly content creator, but I'm not your mother and I expect you to make good decisions. So thanks for being here, though. Thanks for being here. But if you are going to sit here and try to find ways around the rules, then this is not the correct community for you. Down pat. And I think it's valid because there's 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 different communities out there for everybody, but if you're someone who is going to purposefully try to be a child and exploit the rules, this is not a good community for you. Um, everyone seems to love it, and I don't know why. Oh, wait, what? <clears throat> yes, it does. So I deleted your message in the first place because it does. Everyone seems to love it. Oh, everyone seems to love why, Slinky. Oh, are you talking about the, the Swarovski stuff? I know, like... I think it's really, really adorable, but um, I do think it's really, really adorable, though. Um, Michael's dad gets us like the Swarovski, like limited edition ornaments, which is super cute because like his dad did it for like his mom. Um, 
And then now Michael's dad does it for Michael's mom and then me and then Michael's like sister-in-law and stuff. And we get like the annual ornament every year, which is cute. A new stuff pack. There is, Brie, there is, it's coming on the, uh, oh my God, what is it called? Um, on the 29th. So it's coming next Thursday. So fun. I'm so excited. It's like a gem style one. Rahu is back from work. You're allergic to nickel. <gasps> Ooh, right. Do you find nickel is in a lot of like cheaper jewelry or something? I remember my mom always had like some pretty bad issues with that. Um, I'm paranoid about it. Oh, I don't blame you at all. Majority of costume jewelers are made from that. Yeah, isn't that the stuff that like turns greenish too as well? Especially Claire's. Yep, I can see that. From a crystal curly, I'm so excited. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks really cool. It looks like they, like, um, if you go to The Sims Twitter, or I think probably even their Instagram or something, if you're not on Twitter. But, like, um, it, uh, uh, they have, like, the trailer on there. Or even, like, YouTube or something. The official Sims one. And then um, it's really cool. So it seems like they might be reworking things. So, like, you can make... You can like charge your crystals in the moon and then you um, like when you make jewelry, you can actually get. How do I want to say um, when you make jewelry, you can there's like certain traits or something. Like perks that you get when you wear like a certain jewelry when they're charged and stuff It's so cool. I know I'm gonna do a rags to riches thing on YouTube with uh with Tammy regarding it so I'm pretty excited did you share it uh share what charging crystals um in certain in certain circles there are people who will charge their crystals via moonlight it's like a spiritual like thing for some people like that I know Sims hum, uh, hopping on the 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 crystals bandwagon, right? I don't know a lot about it, but I know like that basis at least. Um, or like they cleanse their their crystals via moonlight. It's like a spiritual belief that um certain folks have. But spot, right? Honestly, really excited for this pack because I feel like it was made for you. I love that. That's so cool. A lot of the build by items look so gorgeous in it too. They really do. Also, I hate how Ambrosia's playing video games. Like, stop it. Uh, not my thing, but I think it'd be cool to make the jewelry. Yeah, right? I'm excited to see how it's going to, like, impact. Um, how do I want to say? Uh, the base game stuff, you know? Uh, Crystal Creations 2022, you is screaming. I love that. That's cute. Um, definitely crystal girlies, right? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where it derived from, if it was like indigenous folks or where it was. That's something that, what? Oh no. That is something I'm unfortunately not very like versed in. Um, discipline, I think she would strictly yell at for making a mess. <gasps> what a little jerk. So she's going to discipline him. <gasps> Something getting to do with those collections. Yeah, I like how they're kind of making it um, feel more cohesive. And like some packs that they're getting. They're kind of making them like. It doesn't feel like it's just a standalone thing. Like there's packs that we're getting that are like enriched, like it's enriching the game. Fear of being inferior. Clement never succeeds at anything. How is he ever supposed to make it in the world with any with when anyone Everyone else is doing better in life. That's actually so sad. He has a fear of being inferior. Oh my God. The way that she like has helicopter mommed him has sort of like, I'll have him go clean this up though. Um, it, it's a, it does lay a really good foundation for his non-committal trait. That's what I'm saying, too. But it really leans into the whole, like, helicopter parent aspect here. How's Marmalade doing? Um, he needs to have a little fun, it looks like. <gasps> Maybe I'll have him go and, like, actually talk to, talk to Clement a little bit. 
Aw, he's running. Hello. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Seth, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome on back to the Beanie Weenie Club. How you doing today? Welcome on in. How are you? <gasps> oh, Rarahu has just cleaned and, uh, and doing household chores recently. There's a sparkle of joy when things are neat. Hmm. I feel like she would be neat, honestly. We roll for things unless we're not really sure. If they are, I don't know, let's roll. I think she would be, but let's see what the dice have to say. I'm so glad, thank you so much. <clears throat> so yellow is yes, red is no. So best of three, that is one towards no. I think she would be neat, but we'll find out. That is a definite no as far as the dice go. So it doesn't look like she's gonna pick up this brand new trait. All right, bye Ashy, see you later. Thank you so much. Um, Rarahu has declined a self-discovery trait moment. She didn't feel like it was the right fit for her at the time and that's okay. Um, she might discover a new one in the future. Young adults, adults and elders are able to embrace up to three self-discovery trait moments. Self-discovery trait moments can give a sim a new personality trait or swap an existing personality trait for the opposite. Ooh. All right. Aw, they're so cute. We're going to spend a little bit of time with the cat this afternoon. There. Um. Oh. I love marmalade. Pet care. It doesn't look like that. Here we go. So talk to maybe play with laser pointer a whole bunch or something. I think that's actually really cute. So she's down here. Oh, no, that was not what I was hoping she would do. I was hoping that she would probably just write her scholarly paper because then she can actually reach level nine in the research and debate skill. So when she goes to work on Tuesday, then she's just going to get promoted. Pretty much like outright, I think. Oh, no, you're not tired enough yet. But I do think that I will have her write a book. Um, and she's going to work on another children's book. Um, the trade update with Growing Together. Yeah, I think it was Growing Together. It really adds more personality to your sims and it makes it more realistic. It does. That's why, like, I always feel like, um... That's genuinely why I always feel like Growing Together is probably one of the most recommended packs that I have at this point, just because of how good the entire, like, everything about it is, honestly. It's, like, super good. I think I'm going to have him go ahead and use this and take a shower, then probably grab a little something to eat for dinner. <gasps> this is constantly breaking. All right. All right, Rarahu. And maybe I'll have him. There's like omelets. I'm going to have him totally eat some like fish tacos and stuff like that. Like when you have your Sims do uh, more things, they can pick up like a new liking or trait, just like IRL. Exactly. Hi, Beth. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. What's going on? Um, maybe just a second here. Hello. Hi, Beth. You're like, I can't see any redeems or anything right now. Um, I haven't been able to for quite some time. They've been kind of borked on my end. I'm pretty sure they bought the same chair as you for my desk. Nice. Is it that autonomous AI ergo chair too? Why couldn't I was like, oh no, why can't I click on him? Oh my God. I thought I, I thought I lost him for like half a second. I was like <gasps> kind of freaking out a little bit. And I think I'll have him clean this up and then probably mop. 
Rahu is pretty tired, but again, I think that we probably need to go get some more leftovers actually and eat a little bit of something. I'll have her eat some like fish tacos and then maybe sit down to like write her book a little bit and then go to bed. So where is it? Going to write, resume writing her book because she's working on like authoring children's books and I'm trying to get some royalties for it. Ah, uh, Twitch rude. I wanted to suffer. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. What happened to the random party at the bluffs and the random rabbit hole invitations? Um, I don't know. I haven't personally seen those in a little while, a little while either. So I'm not 100% sure. Oh, my God. She was so stinking close to like having her. Um, What's it called? Her research and debate skill hit level nine. There we go. God, you couldn't like write for like a little bit longer. <laughs> I felt so bad. It's like she just stopped with like one more breath left on the, the scale building, I think. Um, on paper, they would just write until it's done. I agree. Right, I agree as well. Until the random party at the bluffs and the random rabbit hole. Um, I keep stopping all the time. Oh, right. Oh, are you talking about like the scale building stuff? Slinky? Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. My Apple Gen is an infant and the challenge is going so fast. It really does. Right. It's actually so crazy how quickly, um, like some of these things go, but <laughs> like, what is Buttspot even doing? Like, are you kidding me right now? My Apple just randomly walk away. Oh, right. I feel like something similar to that has happened to me quite frequently as well. I'm kind of with you there too. I think I'm going to have him go to sleep. Here we are. And she, oh yeah, she's totally ready to go to sleep. But first, you know what? You got to take a shower. You're kind of a little bit stinky, you know what I mean? <sighs> simple sometimes, just so simple. It's perfect. You know, it doesn't need like a lot of flair, you know. If anyone's coming by, we are playing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge and we're in the second generation. Um, very good stuff. Butt Spot just wants butts, honestly. At least we know um, there's like there's a confidence in that. At least Butt Spot knows what Butt Spot wants. Butt spot wants butts for a sacrifice. <gasps> oh God. Do you have any food, cat? I'm not sure if he does actually. Oh, he does. Oh, go eat. Why are you being so weird about that cat? Oh. Now that was some very orange cat behavior. <laughs> Just immediately runs to go get dinner. Rah, 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 rah. That was weird. Maybe that wasn't like enough food for him because it didn't satisfy him the way that I had thought it would have. <laughs> That's weird. I'm going to reset him because like there he kept defaulting and going to like sleep and stuff. That was weird. Here we go. Um, maybe he just wants to sleep, I guess. That's just very lazy cat behavior because he's really full of his energy. Like, who are you? Um, I wonder also. So I also want Clement to be the kid that like collects simmies and stuff. But where would we put those vending machines? I obviously don't want them here. But like, I wonder if I could go stick them at like some sort of like a public community lot like a park or something even or somewhere. I just don't know where I'd put them. All right, some other things that she needs to do. She needs to like work on her baking skill. Actually, like pretty, pretty crazy. So research and debate is level nine. And then she's going to be like at the top of her career in just a second. Um, But I'm going to have her work on some baking, actually. So we're going to do that. And... 
I'm gonna go as low as I can on this. <gasps> Ooh, she can make a shepherd's pie. That actually sounds really good. Actually really does. I made tater tot casserole for dinner last night, which is basically shepherd's pie, but with like cheese in it pretty much. That's like really one of the only differences that I noticed in it. And I guess I use cream of mushroom soup, but nothing too crazy. All right, friends, so Twitch is actually going to play ads in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick pause and we'll be back in a few. So ads do support me directly. Thanks for hanging and I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Yay! Oh, I hope everyone had a good weekend, though. Um... My kid is out of school this week. That's so crazy. Is it? It feels like a vacation. Oh, right. Is that like? I'm glad to be uh, back at work this week for sure. Are you doing good and all that? Because I know you said that you had to have surgery and stuff, which is super scary. <sighs> like I've been so running on empty with my energy levels and stuff like that with my cycle. So I've just kind of been like keeping my head above water with certain stuff only one who has to get up and go everywhere in the morning so I'm reveling in the sleeping in oh right that is really nice dancing at my birthday party this week in hello 30 that's exciting though Desiree happy belated birthday that's so fun I love it let the ibuprofen begin right for the back pain <laughs> uh that makes sense not like a headache like the incision is healing well oh for sure right so it's just kind of like the matter of like the situation versus like a headache. No, I got it. I could see that. Um, live in the dream as that's like the most millennial dad thing to say, I think. Next week, we're getting a pack. I'm going to do a build by review of the crystal thing. Uh, and then I'm also going to do a few episodes of like a rags to riches um, style thing with Tammy. This is going to be my first one, and I don't know how this is going to go. I'm kind of scared. So I'm like, how many episodes is it going to be? I don't know. I guess kind of go by feel. You know what I mean? Like, Ben Gay or Icy Hot becomes our BFF in our 30s, right? The amount of time that I've had to use Icy Hot or like the roll on, like the, it's not Icy Hot, but like Bio Freeze, which is like the same thing, basically. Um, it's so crazy. Michael's dad has like a clinical version of it. And when I pulled the muscles in my back last time, um, I had to use that for sure. Not great, but you know, we don't want to hear it. So I'm going to pretend it's great. Right. Rag searches is super fun. Right. I know I'm excited for the Tammy rag searches too. That's awesome. It's going to be a good time. I'll be doing that over on YouTube. By the way, um... Whenever new packs come out that I feel like would have like a really cute, how do I want to say, like a really cute gameplay Rags to Riches kind of thing, um, I'm doing like a little short mini series with Tammy in Rags to Riches. So that'll be coming out next week, um, probably starting maybe Thursday, I think would be good. Um, but yeah, by the way, guys, I also surpassed 8,000 subs over on YouTube. Uh, I think we're at like 8,200 now or something. Um, yeah, 8,229 subs on YouTube. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of that. Because hello, that's pretty freaking fantastic. Coding over the counter without a prescription. Oh, God. I don't think I don't know if we can in the United States. That's interesting. I deserve it. Thank you. There's no um, there's no whimsy stories this uh, today. I have it done, but I just want to give myself a little more breathing room. But it will come out on Saturday again. And then I'll. Uh, um, Because of the way my cycle kind of kicked my butt as it usually does. Um, I want to give myself a little bit more breathing room again before I start uploading every Tuesday and Saturday. But I should be good to go on the 24th and then the 27th again. So we'll be good. Nurofen is a mix of codeine and ibuprofen. Oh, really? Things I've never heard of. Typing F1 
one hand is a big pain. And we're back from ads, by the way, everybody. Thank you again. I really appreciate you guys for chilling with me through those. These are so nice. We're doing Jelly Bean Legacy. Um, what is one way that you guys like to kind of not have your Sims kind of go through the motions on everything? I'm going to have our child do this. Am I sw considering switching my daytime to my hours of daytime now? Um, I am mostly daytime now, but not exclusively. I usually on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I usually go live later. But I went live earlier today because I know by the time 5 p.m. comes around, I'm going to be tired if I'm not already streaming. So I'm live early today. Because of my period, but. Not out right now. Um, but I am primarily daytime. So that was another excellent one. So I marked that one down. Um, I think I'm going to have her go to the bathroom and go here. Also, hi, Smithers. How you doing today? Good to see ya. So I'll go cook. Wait, no, I got to bake. Sorry. I hate that menu lag. It always scares me. Um. So I only have like a few things. There's only some... Uh, like a little bit of cookie dough that I have, but there's not a heck of a lot here. I think I am gonna wake him up and then have him go clean, clean and clean. Just so we can get that responsibility trait up and rolling a little bit. I think that'd be good. Um, Cause his manners are honestly pretty good. Cooking a cake instead of baking will forever bother me, right? I know, especially since it was because the baking skill came out with um, the ability to bake things came out with like get to work, I think it was. But then you also had to have the cake so you could have like birthdays. So it just it always felt really weird to me too. Never really made 100% of sense to me. <gasps> Ooh. Kind of glad we don't have the baking skill for birthday cakes. Yeah, right. I'm kind of glad for that too. Because that would suck. I like that it's just like level one for like most things at the very least. We're going to have cottage or shepherd's pie for breakfast because, listen, that just makes sense to me, I guess. Um, I was just digging in the notes on the stuff pack with all the combinations of gems and metal jewelry designs and things are over a thousand different pieces of individual jewelry can make and sell. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Like, that's very, very, very cool. I guess it makes sense with like different like styles and then you just mix and match things and then you know numbers do number things and it just multiplies from there that's so cool that's kind of neat i'm curious to see how the gem thing and i wonder you know how whenever like on the 27th or on the tuesday before we get like a pack because we always get packs on thursdays i wonder what kind of patch we're gonna end up seeing on the 27th on tuesday like, what's it going to include for base game? Like, what's the prep work going to look like? I'm very curious about that one. <gasps> also, they're being flirty. Also, I do have a question for my people who love implementing, like, story richness into their gameplay. It's something I kind of struggle with and creating those, like, authentic moments with your Sims. Like, how do you foster the or how do you, like, make time for your Sims to have romance without it feeling, like, pushed or something? So it's a Sunday. Maybe I'll have them both go out and like hang out together. I'm gonna reset her because she had like a little glitch going on. Um. Oh my god, this pack has really convinced me to buy it when it comes out. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a build by review of it next week, and then I have plans to also have a um a Rex to riches like thing, like a mini series go on with that. You have them go on vacations or dates. Okay, so like we could do like a little date or something. That'd be kind of fun. What is he doing? He's going to go chat with her, I guess. I suppose we can go chat. Or maybe I can have them go on like a walk or something together. It could be kind of fun. <gasps> summer break starts tomorrow. Which we already know that we're like in the middle of summer break. But hey totally good to let him kind of go do his thing because he's on his own mission isn't he um i'll have her put this away and maybe i'll have her mess with like some more like baking stuff or something like that 
um because she's level six almost level seven in her baking skill do we have anything more in her inventory it doesn't look like it but i'm gonna have her prep some ingredients but what can we make so it's gotta be cookie dough or batter i'm gonna never make this batter it's gotta be stuff like that um my apple gen keeps getting a sad moodlet for having a strict dynamic with her kids oh maybe she's like rethinking it maybe she is she like having i wonder if she's having like issues like making um like having that iron fist or that structure because she wasn't used to it kind of thing um my teen werewolf just started high school romance with another werewolf teen and she previously had with it it just happens on its own and they're talking like should i ask him out oh that's so cute that's really cute a supportive dynamic ah that's so true she thinks she needs to be more lenient right because maybe she's like trying to find out and like figure out her stride as like a parent and like how she wants to parent her sims or her kids you know i feel like that's really it's kind of a fun way to think about it i think oliver bake something else here what are we gonna do fudge bars Ooh, that sounds really good oliver make some of those rarahu is oh my god that's so cute i'm gonna join in playing some dolls together yeah taking photos does but it doesn't do it nearly as well as it used to as an ira mother i feel that so hard right <laughs> it's like constantly just learning about things oh my god this is so cute i couldn't even imagine oh my god i feel like we're all just out here winging it you know They're so cute. Dancing together, singing together, cooking together are all um, all the together options, uh, right? That's a good one, though. Oh, my God. Wait, what is she doing? Aw, is she going to go chat with Clement and go watch them together? <gasps> oh, wait. Rurahu is dolling out the sass and feels like and feels invincible. Would it be safe to say that she likes comedy? I feel like as a sim, she would be the less strict parent of the two. I feel like Ambrosia is a little more of the serious strict kind. And then Rurahu is more of like the easy, free going kind of thing. Um... That's kind of how I've always felt about them. So I I roll unless it makes sense to me. Um, so we're just gonna say that she should I roll? What do you guys think? I usually roll, but unless it makes sense. Well, you know what? Let's see what the dice have to say. An artsy free spirit parent. I, that's kind of how I envision her, you know? Like so, I don't know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna roll. And yellow or evens are yes, odds are no. Best of two or best of three. Hi, Rosa. Welcome on in. So that is one towards no. Oh, my God. OK. Apparently, these dice are going to say no. One towards yes. Excuse you? That's a no. Are they weighted red? Honestly, sometimes it feels like it. But these are actual like, custom dice that I had made for stream. But that's no she doesn't like comedy that makes me feel kind of sad no you were just kidding right no i for sure i get it oh what is he doing i'm gonna go drink some water go be a hydrated little king i see rahu what about us i'm gonna have her maybe go is this gonna be the confessional moment I wonder. Yeah, exactly. Right. It just stays neutral. I like that. That is one thing I'm really I'm really glad for. <gasps> Moon, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you so stinking much. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Beanie Weenie Club. How are you? Um, OK, so this we have Rahu and Ambrosia just up here doing their thing. I kind of want to see. I don't 
don't know if they're gonna kiss. I feel like I wanna take them on like a date though. Flirtation, maybe, uh, or like affection, ask on date. I think we're gonna go to a park. I don't know like what park I wanna do or where I wanna go yet. So we do live in Windenburg. So maybe I can find like a really cute little like picnic somewhere or like some sort of a cute little park. Um, there's Hare Square that's kind of nearby. Oh, maybe we could go here to the South Square Coffee. I want to rebuild something in here so bad. Maybe I'll invite her out to like, let's go Hare and Hedgehog. Or even like a little cute little thing in the park somewhere. I don't know. What kind of parks do we have in Hunford on Bagley? Do we have anything that's like more woodsy? There's like this national park here instead. I like how they're just gonna ditch Clement and be like, yeah, bye. Latchkey. He's just home alone. All right, we could go out for coffee. Or we could go to like some sort of like an actual park or something. Um, there's a museum. There's also like a dog park. Um, <gasps> ooh, oh no. Give me a second. I'm gonna place a park that I made. I don't really have like a lot of parks that I've made or a lot of like community lots that I've made, but Willow Creek Park, like the Magnolia Blossom or whatever is one of those that I have made before. Right, right. That one's pretty nice. I agree. So maybe we'll go there because um, I actually remade it. God, my library is a mess because of all the random save files and stuff that I make. There's just these Sims that are just chilling out. Because it automatically saves it to your library. I really wish there was like a multi-delete tool. Where you could just like delete multiple sims at a time kind of thing. That'd be really nice. Oh no. I swear to God, you guys. Maybe I should just stay offline. And I'll just find this. Um, where is it? Mission starter. And then I think it was one that was decently back here. Actually, I feel like we're doing okay. So there's, I don't think it's that. There we go. It wasn't that far back. Here we are. Um, <clears throat> right. Manifesting the success. Honestly. It's so crazy. I don't know if the, the gallery is being weird or whatever is going on with that, though. I was like, I have no idea. It's an enormous lot. It really is. This was really fun to make. Like this park was. Ooh, and it's all base game, which honestly is kind of like the cherry on top for me. I love it. All right. So I'm going to go back to our little lot and we're going to play some ads and then we're going to go on a date at the park. I think we're just going to we're going to do that. It's going to be so cute. I'm excited. Um, So I'll be right back in just a few. Thanks for hanging. Ads do support me directly, y'all. So thanks for chilling with me and I will see you in just a few minutes. And then we're going to go on a cute little picnic date. I don't know if we're going to take any food necessarily, because I don't think that we can really emulate that there very well there, because I don't know. Maybe. I think I actually might have the picnic back basket in here. And I think we can actually put it into our physical inventory, but we have to have a like a table of sorts to be able to use it, which is really weird and kind of annoying. Um, ooh, our household inventory. 
Oh my god. Um, I'm just thinking about the adorable opportunities for some cute photos is what I'm imagining right now. So should I take the the con the camera maybe? Oh no. I'm weirded out. Why can't I place anything? That's really weird because I was able to place that. That was weird. Even like things that I had like in my inventory or like things that were placed already, I couldn't place. That was weird. I don't think I've ever run into. OK, that was weird. Um, I don't think I've ever run into problems with this. Oh, no. That was strange. Sims being Sims, right? Or something. I wonder if it's because of this camera. That's very weird. I don't know. And I certainly hope that it doesn't mess up when we're there on our date. Maybe I'll place one in the park and just kind of whatever and not pull it from her inventory because I don't want to like lose it. So maybe I'll just say it's theirs, but we'll use one at the park and just like place it when we're at the actual park themselves kind of thing. So I think that'll be good. There we go. Hi, Chris. Welcome on in your D&D sessions about to start. That's exciting. Yes, this this blanket is from Little Camper's Kit. It looks like a, a big quilt. It's perfect for like picnics or whatever. It's just it's so cute.